Hey guys, welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the black screen issue on any particular device. Now, I'll be demonstrating the issue just to explain what it is. And this tutorial will work for any device, whether it be a any Samsung Galaxy, including the famous galaxies such as the S6, S7, or so on. And also it will include the Note line, such as the Note 4, 3, 2, um, the Note seven and so on all right even devices such as the samsung galaxy prime and so on once the android device it doesn't matter all right so to start things off i'll start off by using this um, galaxy prime to demonstrate all right so first i'll describe the issue and then i'll show you how to deal with devices with um, removable batteries and device without removable batteries so if you have um, any of these devices this tutorial will cover all of them um, in case you can't bother to watch the whole video, you can look in the description. I'll have a timestamp with the links to the relevant sections. Alright guys, so let's begin. Now let's start off with the Galaxy Prime. Now this device has a removable battery as you might see. All right? Now in case you're getting the problem, and I'll describe the problem on all devices is the same. First of all, the screen will remain um, black even if you tap the power button. Right? Or anything at all, the home button, the phone won't wake up. It will remain with a blank or black display. Next, you'll notice that the LEDs or notification LEDs will light up and um, you can hear calls coming in and so on, but you cannot see anything on the display. Likewise, your capacitive buttons will light up. All right. So let's begin with how to fix this. Now, first of all, those people with devices with um, removable batteries, the first thing you'll do is actually just turn over your device right? and just find the tab to open up the back of the device. Right? And just make sure that your device is powered off. The only way to know that or to make sure that your device is powered off is going to pull the battery, all right? So you're just going to pull the, the battery out, all right? Another step that I advise is that you remove the memory card here about 32 gig. I'm just put it aside. Also remove your um, SIM card, all right? So that's just a precautionary measure, all right? Some of the times if you don't remove them, this won't work. So just to be um, inclusive, I include anything, I'll remove that, all right? Next thing I want to do is just hold down the power button for a minute. What we're trying to do is to drain any residual energy that's inside of the device. All right, so we'll hold this down for about a minute. All right, so after a minute, you can let it go. All right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put down the phone with the battery out and leave it for about um, five to 10 minutes. Um, as I always advise, you guys can just go for a walk or something and come back. Just give it enough time. So any residual energy within the circuitry will be drained, all right? So when you actually come back, you just get the battery, slide it back into place, all right? You can try pouring it on, on at first without the memory cards and so in. You can put them in later. You just hit the power button. All right, so while this, com this is coming on, as you can see, the display will come on if it's done correctly, all right? Now, some of you like to quit. Please don't quit at the first try. If it fails the first time, don't give up. Just um, give it a break and try again. Repeat the process, all right? So that's for devices with the removal battery. Next, I'll show you how to deal with devices that have um, built-in battery. Okay, guys? Okay. Hey guys, so I'm just going to show you how to do this now. Now this is not the same phone and as you can see, this is a Samsung Galaxy S6. As you can notice on the sides as well. All right. So I'm going to demonstrate this time how to deal with the same issue with a device that has a battery that cannot be removed. As you can see, there's no back to remove on this. This is a um, device with a built-in battery. And again, I must tell you, even if you have a Galaxy S7 or whatever the version is, as long as it has a battery that cannot be removed, this should work on any device as long as it's Android, especially if it's a Samsung Galaxy, even if it's the Note 7 or the um, Note 5, all right, it will still work, all right? So the first thing I wanted to do here, if your device is having the same issue, blank screen, um, notification LEDs, the LEDs down here are um, lit up. As I said, I'm just demonstrating the process. The first thing I wanted to try is this. You're gonna hold on power. You're gonna hold on power, and I want you to hold um, volume down on the home button, and I want to hold them and um, just hold that for a minute all right now for most of you what's gonna happen here is that the phone is just gonna reboot and then it's gonna start back up and what's gonna happen is that you're gonna start seeing stuff on the display again all right so if that fails what i wanted to try next is to hold on power 
and I want you to hold volume um, up. Now I want you to hold this for about um, 30 seconds or so. And what's happening in most cases, the device will come up again for some of you. If not, the next thing I want you to try is to hold um, volume down. I want you to hold down on um, power. And you do the same thing like um, we, I just mentioned a while ago. And basically, what should happen is that it will come on for some of you. All right? Now, if that fails, I wanted to try the first step I tried by holding down um, power, um, ohm, and volume up this time instead of the volume down. And I want to hold it. The reason for this is because every device is different. So what might happen is that um, not one button combination, or combination will work. Now, at any time, if your device comes up and you see something on um, the display, one or two things can happen. Either you're going to see the Android and it's back. I wanted to just use the up and down volume buttons to navigate. Set it to reboot and tap the power button and your device will reboot and it should start working. Again, if it says in download mode, simply follow the on-screen instruction and press, I think it was volume down and it should reboot. And that should fix it for most people. Now, some variation and things you can try. You can also get a... Give me a second here. You can also get um, your USB cable connected to the computer and try everything I, I advised a while ago, one step at a time. Also, if you fail the first time, please don't give up. Sometimes it takes several tries. Now, some of you will actually um, give in at the first try. Um, as I said, sometimes you have to try it more than once. Um, but it does work. I've seen this work a million times. It's just that so for some people, it work on the first try, some people on the fifth try. So I can't tell you when it's going to work for you. All right? And if you found that work for you, just leave a comment and please like the video. All right? It might help somebody else out. You can mention your device and so on. All right? So guys, this is Ricardo from Black Tech Tips coming to you with another quick tech tip on how to deal with the black screen issue, which is plaguing a variety of Samsung devices. And for the future, this video should work with any past or future Samsung or other Android-based um, device. All right, guys, Ricardo saying bye.